Pucks in our community. We got Devin here with another commentary with Smoking Fag, who is currently 18 Limited League versus River Raft, who is currently number one Pucks Battle Master. Smoking Fag is playing Full Faction Forsaken Waste, and River Raft is playing Shadow Peaks in SL. Okay, sorry, but I have this my. F1 key has my hotkey for recording it, and every time I hit it to record, yeah, it turns on the panel. So, I, I was in here, but I was, like, setting up my head, setting everything, so, he has a general out, just general horseman, the mind thief, Riv has a cyclonic fesh, and a, a cannon tracker, and I, we pretty much didn't miss much from this game, and he has a mind, well, a well, grim, well, and River Raft deployed the Doomwalker, doing a little things here and there. So that's pretty much got all nice and caught up and everything. So Riv's playing his like good old nice split. Now that Shadow Peaks SO Moga Trailblazer for fitting boot for bitting fruit thing. But I think he changed the BG up a little bit. Like he uses aspect of violence in Doomwalker Mantle now. It's pre it's pretty interesting BG actually, because of mobility and world of blaze and the fact that he has fury as well. Very interesting BG, to say the very least. Then he has his touches it, yeah yeah, do all the good stuff. So, smoking charges his shrine, which is you move in a straight line three spaces and through three plus damage. Oh yeah. Man, my Theft Creeper is getting in that Fesh's face with a ping. It has ping rank one, which does four damage a turn. Ping used to be ping used to be one whole thing, and it did six damage a turn. Then it got changed to ranks, so rank one does four damage, rank two does six damage, rank three does eight damage. And to my knowledge, I think only one champ has ping rank three, and that is. Uh, what is it? Furk Mind Shredder. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So, Doomwalker Tunnels. Oh, I love these Doomwalkers. Like, I recently changed my Sand BG to, and I included two Doomwalkers now. Because they're just so amazing with the, um, what is it, Sand Veil. Then, and they have Grant Trail, Grant. Tunnel Sand Rank 3. So, so amazing. To say the very least. So, he's pretty much throwing Trail Sand. I can only guess he's doing that for Doomwalker's Mantle and Lobility and whatnot. That's all. That's all I can guess. So, Smoking is actually rushing him. Which surprises me. Because he's the type of player that just sits back and deploys his Relic and be a faggot. And... Let his relics play for him. Wow, like he he died pretty much the attrition style. He just sits back, play on the tomb, two ch chopping blocks, two man hate, and win. Oh man, there's one right there. I think he he might have two um might death cells though. I'm not sure, cause he only has two champs out. Wait, uh, I, I, I really don't know. I just got in here, so I wasn't paying much attention. It might be the fact that he keeps wasting it on relics, because the groom mode was like, what, 35, 30 Nora? Then that's 20, that's 25, 45, so that's about 75 Nora, so that's about a champ. He just he spit pretty much a champ worth the Nora on relics. And that's pretty much what he did. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, yeah, honestly, like, it makes perfect sense to me to waste all that Nora and everything just to contest this font. It makes perfect sense to me. But, hey, he's got to do what he's got to do. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? He's got to do what he's got to do. So, I don't know what just happened, but my thing just lagged, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened, but game just froze and yeah yada 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 bing bing bang nothing new but yeah well well 
It just seems I didn't miss much. I'm guessing that my Death Creeper is dead. He just he managed to destroy the relic as well. Then he deployed a Exulius, which was very very interesting champ at the very least. It does nine damage on deployed, and when it dies, it heals twelve HP. It's a very interesting tank champ hero. It's one of the oldest too. I think it's the first. Is it? Um, is Exilius the first champ? Hero champ? Well, it, it doesn't matter. So, Smoking deployed another mine theft. Well, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four. No, he can't get the flint. Well, I think that's from the pre. Well, regardless, he couldn't get the flint, anyways. And <laughs> Riv is standing his ground. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna. He could, I guess, if he didn't use Barrage, because I missed like maybe two minutes of the game, so. Yeah, his up is up. And it dies, it dies. <laughs> yeah, Sakonic Flesh is pretty scary when it, you put Havoc's touch on it. It's a, it's a really good champion, but Shadow Peaks player, like, Shadow Peaks players are just now getting the fact that it's good. Because some people, like, when it first came out, said it was bad. Like, really? <laughs> Four through six reigns. Um, double attack, um, lightning raw, so, do double attack, tap a champ twice, or barrage, whichever, drop a lightning storm, pretty much an instant kill. Can't get any better than that. And if you decide to choose regeneration, like, like, you better kill it. You gotta kill it. Or it's just gonna, like, just sit back and chill in the back and snipe you and be back up there. So, it's a pretty good utility champ. Is it overpowered? That's a different that's a different topic. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't per se say it's overpowered because like once you get up in his face like it can't it can't really do anything. But what really irritates me is the fact that when you have like a, a absorb unit or a arrow eater out when it hits it it still gets jolted, so when it goes for that double hit, you still get equipped with lightning rod. That, uh, I don't know what's, well, I don't know what the logic behind that is, but, oh yeah, my bad. Logic does not apply to Poxnora. My bad. Even Poxnora logic doesn't apply to Poxnora, so I can't really say much about on that one. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, I don't know, I, I don't think it's, it used to work like that. But I could be wrong, though. I really don't know. Things get changed in this game every day. You get new bugs. You just hitting changes and all this other bull. And you, like you, I log in the next day, like like it was working fine just a minute ago. And then I log in the next day, like what the fuck? <laughs> like that's all you can say is what the fuck. That's Pox number for you, though. It's a very fast moving game. So the mine theft creeper is somewhere around here and it just hit five. Oh no, that was um chopping block, my bad. The my, old my chopping block that you just put in your font and watch it eat away at your opponent. Seems perfectly balanced to me. So he just kept the general there for some odd reason. I don't know why. He just kept it there. He didn't uh, move it or anything. Dang, I kind of want to run that now. Not per se this split. I just want to run Aspect of Violence in Doomwalker's Mantle. Because that, that looks like that looks so much fun. Like, you drop it on there, boom. That's like like 7 damage right there. That's 7 spot damage right there. And you're just going to tear shit up with um, World of Blades and Fury. Like that, <laughs> World of Blazing Fury, that's just so freaking cool. I kind of want to run it now. River of expired me to actually run Aspect of Violence again. But I don't know, we'll see. I typically do not like running gimmick BGs. I actually like, to, because, like, honestly, I don't really like running anything but pure, like, full faction SL things, like, to be honest. Like, because I, like, every time... 
like I, I don't know how to play, like I don't know how to play anything else. Like I really don't. Cause when I like decided to play some new BG, I like I I was just like clueless. <laughs> like I only know like the only things I know how to play good is SL. Uh, like where I can like actually bring out my full potentials with SL. Like it doesn't matter. Like she's like, like that was the only probably problematic BG I had using was Shizik, but um, when I played them for a couple of days, I started getting into the mood of Shizik, and like I actually like Shizik now. I used to hate Shizik, like I, I hated them with all my heart. <laughs> I did not. I, I never played Shizik. The only actually Shizik I used, I used was Alchemist, but other than that, I just <laughs> straight despised Shizik. For my reasons I did was because they're mutant doors, which came from Iron Fist, and I, I, I just hate Iron Fist. I don't know why. I just hate that faction. So that was my main reason for not playing Shizik. But I was like, fuck it. I was getting bored of the usual Drake, Drakeskar, Sand, Dragons. I don't even play Dragons that much anyway, and they're my favorite race. But I don't. I, I just don't like playing them because like. With the new drakes and everything, they're just too rushing. And I don't like rushing. I like camping. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. I like camping. But yeah, I don't play that much. Um, insects suck complete ass for facts and insects. Um, what else we got? Beasts. Yeah, I'm not a really big fan of beasts. I tried them out. I've tried full faction so beasts, but I don't really like them that much. I'm not saying them being competitive, their power level and all that, that's not the reason to play, because I don't give a fuck. I don't care how strong anything is. Like, if I want to play it, I'll play it. If I like it, I'll play it. I don't give a fuck if it's overpowered in it. I don't give a fuck about all that. I play things that I like. I don't play things because they're powerful. People need to get that. Because when people, like, I have made two recent BGs, like, that, no, no, it was, I made several sp split BGs lately, and People kept calling me copycats and everything, but, like, honestly, I'm not copying anybody. I'm just making BGs that I like. Like, when I make BGs, I don't, um, I don't use other people's BGs. Like, it might be similar to other people's BGs, but it's not me copying their BGs, like, honestly. Because, like, I get help with, I have gotten help with maybe two of my recent split BGs and that was from Agalon. He told me about the Shadow Peaks split BG and about the Trailblazer and Forbidden Fruit thing. I was like, cool. I wasn't that at all thinking about River Rav. <laughs> like, really. It was Agalon. Actually, this is how it went down the chain. Slick. Sick. Or however you pronounce his name. Till Agalon. Agalon to River Rav. Agalon to me. That's how it went. Actually, it was both um, Mr. Bad Guy and Agalon who told me about the Trailblazer thing. And Agalon told me, helped me with my UDBG that I made. Uh, it's a straight, pure melee. I don't want to say anti-rings per se, but yeah, yeah, that little bit with um Orb of Protection. That and the straight, pure melee base. I made that because I like it. I have both angels, angel of warning, angel of pain, and I, get, I made that because I liked it. it was, it's fun. BG, it's a fun BG to use. I'm not using it because it's powerful. It's powerful. I can't lie about that because it has vixen, um, deceiver. Yeah, it has the good, the good stuff in it. But I play it because I like it, not because it's overpowered. Because I don't even play it half the time. I don't even like splits. To be honest. Like I'm gonna be honest. I do not like splits. The only time I play them is because I, I like it, or when I'm getting boring, bored of full faction SL. That's the only time I play splits, and that's game. 